now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Well, after a soaking rain more than an inch in many areas, we ended uh, the at least steady precipitation this morning with a little bit of snow, sleet. And now as we look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, for the most part, things are quieting down. There's a small chance of a lingering sprinkle or flurry this morning, or this uh, evening. But other than that, it is quiet across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. And I expect it to stay that way through the evening hours. Weather headlines... As the temperatures drop tonight, we're going to watch for a few icy spots. Meanwhile, we've got another quick moving system for tomorrow. It's going to keep the clouds around and bring back the showers. And seasonable temperatures this week. No big warm-ups or cold shots over the next five to seven days. But a pretty active weather pattern setting up. Live city cam pictures. A quiet scene out there right now. Temperatures 34, wind chill at 25. Still those gusty winds out of the north at 13. Weather spotters. Brad Cumberland says flurries and windy. A gym in North Smithfield picking up a little over an inch of rain and sleet at 30 degrees right now and Bob and Fall River at 34. So it's in these northern suburbs where the temperatures have already dipped down below freezing. Anything that's uh, still ponded, anything wet on the roadways or sidewalks will freeze up overnight. We're at 31 from Emerald Bay Manor in Cumberland and 37 right now at Bank Newport. Winds have really died down after uh, seeing wind gusts as high as 35 to 45 miles per hour. Any wind advisories or high wind warnings have uh, been allowed to expire. The system that brought all the wet weather wintry mix is pushing out of southeastern New England and then we're watching this quick moving low pressure and cold front that will swing through uh, during the daytime tomorrow and it will bring a couple of rain and even possibly snow showers and our future cast shows that going into tonight it's very quiet just again mainly cloudy skies even starting out tomorrow morning this is 730 in the morning just generally cloudy and then notice how those uh, rain and snow showers start to fill in by afternoon and they'll continue off and on through the second half of the day and even in to Tuesday evening. This evening, though, remains quiet. Temperatures dropping through the 30s overnight tonight, 25 to 29. A little bit of patchy black ice. I don't think it's going to be widespread, but just be careful if you step out to pick up the morning paper tomorrow. Cloudy with a damp feel for the morning commute. And then by afternoon, some light rain and snow showers. Temperatures around 35 to 40 degrees. South Coast will be coming in around 37 for a temperature or with a southerly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. About 33 for a high in Burrowville. And we will be in the mid and upper 30s over southeastern Massachusetts with some uh, rain and snow showers possible. Glad to break for some sunshine on Wednesday with a high once again in the upper 30s. Thursday looks dry, watching an offshore storm for Friday and then possibly again late in the weekend into early next week. So every couple of days we've got a system to keep an eye out for. Get your updated future cast 24 hours a day on our website at WPRI.com. It's good that a lot of folks got to stay in bed a little longer. I know, because the roads were slushy. It was really cold this yeah, it was morning. A little messy. Not Michelle, she has to work double duty today. <laughs> I know. Happy to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle.